Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time we made it back to Pallet Town and explored Viridian City and realized that the Viridian Gym, the final gym that we need to conquer, is still closed. With that done, we made it back here to Pallet Town where, where Blue gave us, the, gave us Mega Evolution. I am actually very excited about this now. We now have Mega Evolution as something that we can possibly do here. So we're gonna go ahead and head outside of Pallet Town. And hopefully go back to Viridian City. But first, we have we are interrupted by Star. Oh, if it isn't Eevee. You know what you want to know what I'm doing? I'm picking flowers. I'm going to make a bouquet for everyone for someone very important. But it's a secret. You won't tell anyone, right, Hunter? Oh, that's right. Um, the Viridian City gym leader came back to the gym at last. That's what people were saying. You should head off to Viridian City. Is that so? The Viridian gym is now open. Well, let's go ahead and head on over there. See what we can actually find. Hopefully we can actually avoid these Pidgeys, Bellsprouts, and Rattatas that we could um, explore and run into since episode one. Uh, but there's a giant Pidgey over there. Route one's encounters have changed in that regard, but we made it back here to Viridian City. Just in time. Uh, let me check and see if my Pokemon are fully healed. I want to say they are. Okay, we are fully healed. Bulbafet is in the lead. Uh, and that is exactly who I want to have in the lead for this part of the game as well. So let's go ahead and head on over to the Viridian City Gym. Last time we were over there, nothing really happened, but now it is said that it's actually open. So let's go ahead and talk to you. What do you have to say? The Viridian City Gym Leader has returned. Let's check the sign and see who we're actually about to be dealing with. Viridian City Pokemon Gym. Oh, look at that. I guess it doesn't even say who we're fighting. Well... Nothing else to do. Let's head on inside the gym. Huh, we don't even get a sneak peek at the gym leader either. Oh, that's, that's quite sad. What do you have to say? Yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know who the Viridian City gym leader is. One thing's certain. We're qualified to challenge the gym leader because you have seven badges. This gym leader will be stronger than any other trainer you, trainers you've ever faced. Also, I heard that the trainers here are users of ground-type Pokemon. Ground-type, huh? Alright. Rock, water, electric, grass, poison, psychic, fire, ground. Very nice choices for Pokemon, sir. Well, anyway, we already see the gimmick here of this puzzle. I don't really need to go over that. If I do, then it's movement tiles. We've already went over this in the Team Rocket HQ, so... I get- oh, uh... Your Pokémon will cower at the crack of my whip. And it's for reasons like this that whipped trainers don't return to any other generation of Pokémon after this. Um, I think Let's Go is like the only newer game that has whips, but I think from Gold and Silver onwards they were removed. They were removed. Anyway, we have our first batch of Pokémon trainers here, starting with, um, Tamer Cole, who has a Nidorino. I'm gonna bring out Patrick, yeah! Um, our Stormy has been re-nicknamed. We finally have a nickname from it. Huge thanks to my good buddy, uh, your boy Roy for this. You guys might remember him from the Monotype tournament of Hydrahem, my first opponent in the tournament, actually, who did use Water-type Pokémon. That's quite fitting that the person who came at me with the Water-type team re uh, nicknamed the Water-type Pokémon. Anyway, was talking about nicknames and stuff like that. We'll save that for after the battle. In the meantime, Let's go ahead and use Psychic, because now that every single one, now that every Pokemon on my team has been nicknamed, by the way, Dick Trio cannot be nicknamed because, well, it was a traded Pokemon, because every single Pokemon on my team has been nicknamed at this point, it is about time for me to reveal the rewards for everybody who submitted their nicknames. That also includes me for some reason, because I nicknamed Bulba Fett. The reward for submitting the nicknames are about to be are about to be posted below, right as this trainer um, ends. Right here. 
here, it is over. So what you're about to be seeing on screen right now are the finished products of the rewards. Yes, that's what you that is what everyone is getting. So Neo Dagon, Zero the Hero, JJ Kit Kat and your boy Roy. Enjoy. Also a very joyful tune at this at the sound of the ice cream truck that is on my street right now. I'm not I don't really want any ice cream right now, guys. Um back on track here. We're gonna go ahead and use, Oh wow, we're actually running wow, the full heels have really lasted us this long. I forget how long it's been since I purchased those. Like I think it was like as long back as Vermilion City that we got those. I think Yeah. I think I'm going to put Patrick in the lead now, because, simply because of the fact that, um, we are dealing with part poison types. Uh, this puzzle has always confused me. I'm not good with movement tiles in the least. This is, it's not new to me, because every single Pokemon game uses this, but movement tiles are not my thing at all. And in fact, they're actually quite notoriously bad, in my opinion. Ace hey, Trainer Samuel is our next trainer. He, he's gonna send out a Nido King. Okay, this is a new one for us. So here we have a Nido King, Poison Ground type, and we have Patrick here. Let's go. Let's give it a Psychic. Uh, Patrick really needs a level up. We are still in like the late forties. Or oh, and you have Mega Horn. That is really going to hurt. Yikes. Uh -huh. Uh, first things first, when coming dealing with Nido King, don't use Thunderbolt. In fact, I really wouldn't use Thunderbolt against any of these Pokemon. They're all ground types. No, that's pretty much it. Nido King's down. Don't go doing things like Thunderbolt on any of these Pokemon. Well, Nido Reno and Nido Arena Pokemon you might come across in this gym that you might be you might want to use um, Thunderbolt on them, but don't use it against anything else. It'll be you will be wasting your effort. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Because... Okay, maybe not because. We still have more stuff to do here. Go figure. Uh, I'm gonna want to take it to... Oh, well, I guess I'm not avoiding you. Great! Alright, so we got another trainer here. Uh, you are... Ace Trainer Kelly. I That sums up nothing because your Nido King is... About as information heavy as the Nido King that we just fought before. Literally, this is like my third time explain, explaining the Nido King family. So basically, I'm not even going to say it either. I think, because I already just talked about it when we were talking about Nido King. Ooh, a bird. That was very useful because we, we just got hit by Burn Quick. That did absolutely nothing. So that burn really helped. That, that was really good for us. Another reason why Scald is a really handy move to have because you don't know when it's going to be particularly useful, like in that situation right there. That, even with a resisted hit, would have did at least half of Patrick's health. But hey, we're, you were good enough to burn it. And Kazooie, you're level 50. Sweet. Another Pokemon has has broke the level 50 margin. I just want to head, and head down this way, see what we got going on here. We got more movement tiles taking us across the entire right side. Wait, did we fight you yet? No, we didn't. Must be running out of steam by now. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't even know if I can take another more of your movement tile, to be honest. Uh, the trio. This is a not a new Pokemon. Painfully frail. That doesn't mean for that doesn't mean that it's not going to. That means it's okay. What am I talking about? It, yeah, that. It's gonna, gonna do a very a critical hit on Patrick, and then, or it's gonna die. I was going to say it's going to live this fall, but apparently not. Seven hundred. You're good on that. Rhyhorn is coming out next. I completely forgot to me um, mention Rhyhorn about when it comes down to the other guy, but Rhyhorn really nothing special about that. It goes down. It's four times weak to water. That's pretty much all. We've already gone over a lot of these Pokemon before, if not all of them, so a lot of these are pathetic. Like, apps, yeah. Like, painfully pathetic. 
But anyway, that's pretty much that. We got a revive. In. We're gonna go this way now. This takes us back over here. Oh, I really don't know where to go. I think I'm gonna go this way? You know. There's no way to get out of this, isn't there? Can I go over there? No. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have gone this way. Okay, that... That was... Oh my god. It's one of those moments where you realize, okay, it, there's... The, the answer is literally just right there in front of you, but you... It, it just completely eludes you, and it just makes you just punch yourself in the face because you because it's right there in front of you and you knew it was right there in front of you but you just completely overlooked it. It's exactly this kind of situation right here. And we have another tamer here. We got Tamer Jason. He is going to be bringing in a Sand Slash, which is not a good Pokemon release, but I am surprised they waited till Gym 8 to throw a Sand Slash at us. To be honest, that was kind of a bad move because now um, Patrick here I'm trying to find numerous ways not to say Star Me, because that's what I've been calling it for so long. Patrick here is going to use the Scald. I am starting to run pretty low on PP for that move, but that is not... At least we one-shot it, and that was his only Pokemon. So, thankfully that... So do you literally want to know the exact reason why you play Roy named Star Me, Patrick? I don't, e I don't even think I need to explain it. I think everyone here knows that it's a Spongebob reference. And, wait, this guy just called himself the Karate King. There's a guy in Saffron City called the Karate Master. And to make matters worse, you're not even using a fighting type Pokemon. You're using a Graveler, which is going to be going down one hit to one to a Skull from Patrick. Yeah, this guy is, y y you are very pathetic, good sir. Good day, and I will be bypassing. Well, that would be bad. Okay, I don't even know where I'm going with that anymore. He's done. Takashi is down. That was a quick one. That's it. And we have a very familiar face ahead of us. I am going to put Bulbapet in the lead because, as you guys might remember from last time, we achieved Mega Evolution. The only Pokemon on our team that can Mega Evolve is Bulbapet. This is our first battle with Mega Evolution. Our face is right in front of us. Let's talk to him. Wahaha! <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be... It... This is going great. <laughs> It shall be until I can restore our Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, then, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Giovanni is the gym leader of Viridian City. How many of you guys saw this coming? So with Giovanni being the gym leader, you can expect him to have an entire team of ground-type Pokémon, which is, funnily enough, in his last two encounters, was the exact type he used. First off is Dugtrio, level 49, with the moves... Well, okay, level 49 ground-type, with the moves Slash, Sucker Punch, and Earthquake. I am not going to let this thing get a single move. Let's go ahead and show off Mega Evolution and go for Mega Drain. So, Mega Evolution is a unique type of evolution that lasts only once per battle, only one Pokemon can use it per battle. It wears off after the battle is over, and the Pokemon stats get an increase from it. In that case, Bulbapet's physical defense and special attack policy increases. The absolutely beautiful this is. Bulbapet is going to be using Mega Evolution from now on to the fullest. Glad I'm using this Pokemon, and I'm glad the Mega Evolved one is the Pokemon I'm using. Another thing about another unique thing about Mega Evolution, it lasts even if you switch out. So I'm gonna switch in the Patrick, and then the Mega Evolution is still going to last. Next up, we have Nidoking, level 49, Poison Ground type with the moves 
Mega Horn, Earthquake, Poison Jab, and Horn Drill. This thing's a threat. The, th the very fact that this thing has Horn Drill in its moveset should be enough to frighten you. It's going to kill, it's going to kill Patrick, or not. Horn Drill is a one-hit KO move. If it hits, you are dead. That is pretty much all you need to know about Horn Drill. Needle King is down. And all of his Pokemon, except for the trio, can learn Horn Drill, but only but on his particular team, only um, Nido King has it. The trio go to level 57. You need to calm down. Anyway, another we're gonna win and show off the Mega Evolution once more. Bulba Fett, come on back out here. When you switch back into the Pokemon that's Mega Evolved, it will retain its Mega Evolved form, like so. Right on is level 50, Ground Rock type with the moves. Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Mega Horde. This is easily Giovanni's strongest Pokemon, but it's four times weak to grass, and with that, it is dead. Absolutely great, and now we are going to be seeing his last Pokemon, and in my opinion, it's probably the most deadly one. Bulba Fett, you're level 53. Good job. Your first battle is a Mega Evolved Pokemon, and you did well. Nido Queen is his final Pokemon. I am going. Ooh, Patrick is a bit. Patrick is a bit damaged. Ooh, what do I do here? Ooh, what do I do here? Uh, Big Trio! Um, it's been a little while since I used you in any capacity. Uh, let's see how you. Let's see how you fare when you're up against something that you're almost 10 levels higher than. Nido Queen is level 49, Poison Ground type. The moves Super Fang, Earthquake, and Crunch. I am taking a big risk bringing the trio in here, because this thing not only has Super Fang, which reduces the trio's health by half, but it also has Earthquake, which is super effective on my part steel type the trio. We're taking a lot doing this, but we're gonna go ahead and use our Earthquake and hopefully take it out. And that is it. Nido Queen goes down, and it's over. We defeated the final gym leader. Did we get a level up on anybody? No. Shame. That was a truly intense fight. And we get 8,000 Poké Dollars for beating him. Yet again, I am defeated. As proof of your victory, here is your Earth Badge. An Earth Badge makes all Pokémon obey you, regardless of how high their level is or who originally caught them. It is proof of your mastery as a Pokémon trainer, with it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. And this TM. A gift for a trainer who dares take on the challenge of the Pokemon League. TM41 Earthquake. Yes. Earthquake. A very dangerous move. Doug Trio has it in its moveset. It's 100 power. It is 100 accurate. It is by far, in my opinion, the best move in the entire Pokemon series. It is that powerful. TM41 contains Earthquake. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor to deal damage to opponents. I made it a very long time ago, back when I ran this gym far too long ago. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Team Rocket is. As of today, Team Rocket is finished. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And with that, Giovanni has been defeated. And Team Rocket is no more. Let's head back. And head on outside and see what greets us. Now that we have the final badge. Via the final gym leader. And, wow, not even Trace has beaten this place yet. We were the first ones to do it. Congrats, kid. Boy, though, what a shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon gym as their hideout. That's it. I've decided. I'll look after the Viridian... I'll look after the Viridian City gym from now on. I don't really like to get tied down, so I've always said no when they ask about it, but I'm finally ready. 
I'll be the gym leader from now on. That's great. Thanks. With an awesome trainer like me around, I'm pretty sure the Kanto region will be safe from troublemakers like Team Rocket forever. So then, Hunter, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. Just keep going along Route 22 to the west of here, and you won't miss it. The Elite Four are, are tough opponents, but don't you dare lose. And that's what we will be doing next time. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We're going to make our preparations for the Pokemon League. See you guys then.